okay, so um, I got, uh, someone gave me actually the Extreme Glimmer set and um, I was really excited to try it, um, but it's gotten kind of mixed reviews. People have had a really hard time working with it without getting fallout like all over themselves and looking like a glitter ball in the end. So I've been trying for the last couple of weeks to find a solution to that particular problem. And I think I sort of have. It's not maybe a perfect solution, but I think it's on its way. So what I have is um, Clinique City Block 40. And what it is is that you can use it on your face and it says you can use it on your eyes as well. And it's supposed to be like a primer for your makeup as well as like a sunblock and stuff. So I, I had been using this because I ran out of primer and it works pretty fairly well as a primer. It's not great. If you have oily eyelids, it probably wouldn't work at all. But um, so it's kind of this mix between like a moisturizer and a primer. And um, so I got the idea to take some of this and mix it with the extreme glimmers. Um, and that way it makes kind of like more of like a cream eyeshadow paste so that you don't get so much fallout on your um, face. You do probably get just a little bit, you know, but nothing you couldn't wipe away or that buffing your um, foundation on wouldn't help help with. So, um, okay, so what I've already done here is I have on primer. I, since I did, I ran out of primer. I got the drugstore brand. I got the L'Oreal Decrease. So that's what I have on as a base. But I think probably the Urban Decay Primer Potion or um, the Primetime for Eyes from Bare Essentials would be better. <laughs> um, so, but the L'Oreal one's not bad. I mean, if you, again, don't have oily eyelids, I think it would be a great, perfect, fine prim primer. So what I have on is um, Rock Crystal from the Bare Crystal set all over pretty much. Um, then I have Honey Amber in the crease. And then I already put on some liner here and that's the smoky quartz. So what I'm gonna do is just take some of this, um, so you can see it kind of looks like a MAC pig pigment in the jar, but it's really actually kind of different than MAC pigment. So what I do is I'm just like spooning it kind of on top of the um, little blob of moisturizer stuff. And um, so I'm just going to take a few of those and then you might want to just try to mix it in a little batch at a time so you can try to work with the proportions and get it just right. Um, it makes this kind of creamy paste like that and that's what you want. And you can see it kind of sticks to the brush a little bit, but you do get, you can see the, the bronze base um, in there. So you can test it on your hand too, just to see how smooth it is. And it's looking pretty good. So all I'm going to do now is just use it like I would a foiled kind of eyeshadow. And I'm just going to, you know, kind of pat it on there. Um, they don't blend exceptionally well, and especially the silver one, it's kind of uh, really bad of like blending it into the other extreme glimmers. So that's why I'm just using regular non-extreme glimmers as the base of this look. Um, just because it, they're kind of hard to blend into each, each other, even though you can. I did a look and maybe I'll just put the pictures on too with the extreme plum and the extreme silver. Um, and I'm just going up to the crease. You might want to go below the crease because it does kind of end up creasing a little bit later on during the day. Now it looks a little not extreme glimmery at all, but as the um, moisturizer sort of sinks in and dries a little bit, you'll be able to see a lot more of that sheen that the extreme glimmers have. So um, that's all I'm going to do. And so I just did have like used half the blob of a moisturizer and that way you can sort of um, make it creamy again just by adding a little bit more moisturizer as you go to keep it the right consistency. And just again, you can test on your hand just to check it before you actually put it on your eye. Um, I also put the eyeliner on first because I was having trouble when I did the first look doing the eyeliner um, over the extreme glimmers. They were kind of caking and looking weird. so. That's why I did the liner first. Okay, so I want to kind of come up by the crease, but you know, you might get a little creasiness through the day 
Uh, I think after about like an hour or two, maybe three, I started to get just a little creasiness right here where my eye creases. But if I just found, if I just kind of smoothed it out with my finger, it was fine. Um, the other thing is it's a little hard to sort of keep it blending up. So that's why I put the honey amber up there. So it kind of blends nicely into that similar color and uh, you don't have too many harsh lines. So that's the extreme glimmer. And again, as it kind of dries, you'll see more of the glimmer come out. Um, you could probably go back and fix any eyeliner that you needed to fix, but um, that's really it. And the bronze is really pretty like this. I haven't worn this one yet. Um, so I'll post pictures of this look and the sort of silver and purple look with the other two colors that I did before. Um, so there you go. That's my idea. Um, if you don't have the city block, you could mix a little bit of regular primer like Primetime for Eyes or the Urban Decay kind or the L'Oreal Decrease. Even I tried it with that and it works okay. Um, and then just pat it on, you know, um, pat the paste on. But you got to work quickly if you're going to do it with just straight primer because, you know, that stuff dries really fast. And so that's the one disadvantage to doing just straight primer. But I bet it won't crease as much if you just use primer by itself. So, okay, so that's my... Um, and as you can see, I really didn't get any fallout at all on my eyes. So if you have contacts or something, this is probably um, a good idea if you want to try these colors. Okay, well, thanks for watching.